Oh, well, I, I just felt that we had a two-run lead right there, and uh, you was throwing the baseball really well. And I felt he could uh, continue to go and get us outs. Um, so right there, you know, obviously you have Grandy available, but to still go out there and Edwards has uh, really been tough on left-hand hitters. So to still get a base hit, uh, it, it's not uh, a gimme at all. And to feel that I, I could extend you for more than an inning, uh, I just felt that the value of uh, continuing to get outs and to uh, be able to deploy the bullpen uh, later in the game, I just felt there was uh, um, more upside for me. And and obviously that just it's uh, you know validates and, and makes you feel better about it, but you still have to go into that at bat expecting uh, not to come away um, with a run right there. But um, the story of the night obviously is is you Darvish and. Uh, after that first homer that he gave up on the cutter that backed up, he was he was dominant. Um, he just had that rhythm, rhythm that the poise, and didn't allow a whole lot of hard contact. And he put us in a great spot, and we just fed off him tonight. Dave, um, obviously Ethier waited quite a while to you know the whole season really for this moment. Uh, the fact that when that opportunity presented itself. The fact that he was able to capitalize on it immediately, uh, what does that kind of say about him and also just how happy were you for him in general? Just uh, very, him. very happy for him. Um, and the game honors you. And, and a guy like Andre who's done it the right way for such a long time and uh, repeatedly said he just wants to be a part of this and to prepare every single day like he's going to play. And when that opportunity presented itself, he was ready. And for him to come through and perform and pick us up the way he did uh, is no surprise. And it's just a credit to his professionalism. When you traded for you, was this the kind of start you envisioned at the time in July? Were you thinking maybe this far ahead? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we saw him a little bit from the other side. And he's one of those top of the end rotation guys. And so um, when you're talking about trying to win 11 games in October, uh, you need that front end pitching. And that start against Arizona. And tonight, this is uh, why you trade for guys like that. Dave, uh, what's it uh, what's it like to rebuild a swing like Chris Taylor has done and to have this kind of success? Well, um, it, it takes a lot of um, confidence in yourself and trust to see yourself as a marginal major league player, um, but to take a chance on on trying to uh, uh, learn a new swing and to bet on yourself, and that's what he did. He committed to it. And we saw early in spring training, he was a different hitter. And so um, he, he's a tireless worker. He, he's got a great head. He competes. And now you take that swing chain, and, and he's an impact player. And to be able to start him in center field the first couple games, and then to start him at short, and to uh, get on base, to slug, drive runs in, catch the baseball, um, he, he's a huge asset for us. Right under the lights to the right. Dave, I, I know this has been the case all season, but you've had so many guys in the lineup today and contributed today who have taken strange paths maybe to the playoff start. Uh, Chris Taylor was traded. Andre's been hurt a lot the last couple of years. Guys coming off surgeries like Morrow. What does that say about this team, that this is the group that you have right now and is, is, has you in a 3-0 lead in the NLCS? Um, it, it's, a, um, it, it's a very focused group. And uh, obviously, you look at the talent. We're deep. Um, it's a very unselfish group. And so when you take those components, uh, you can weather a lot. And we have really played well all year. And we had a tough spell. Uh, and the focus has certainly been heightened in the postseason. And I think we do a good job of trying to win one game at a time. And um, today, it was a team effort. And uh, credit goes to the coaches and the players. Anything else for Dave? All right up front. Does it feel like with your bullpen, you have a piece for almost any situation that might arise? Yeah, um, we've done a, uh, as an organization, we've done a great job of um, putting together not only a roster, but a, a pen that we feel um, can combat any lineup. And so when you're looking at a lineup like the Cubs or the Diamondbacks, who are very dangerous and can do a lot of different things, but um, for us to be able to match up and, and feel confident in those guys that we're running out there, I think that um, it, it obviously instills confidence in me when, when I 
go to them in the pen, but uh, you know those guys still have to go out there and execute. And um, Josh Bard, our bullpen coach, Rick Honeycutt, I, I can't say enough about what those guys have done preparing our pitchers uh, to go out there and have a plan. And um, then those guys have been executing. Anything else? Uh, toward the center, fourth row. Just, uh, I guess, looking big picture, you're, you're one win away from the World Series. You're 6-0 and in the postseason. Do you allow yourself to kind of take a step back and, and appreciate where you're at? And no. Um, it does, it, it, uh, no. I, I think that right now um, we're just uh, laser focused on trying to win baseball games. So um, that obviously, if that presents itself, obviously we'll, we'll, uh, it'll, be, it'll be great. But um, uh, right now our focus is uh, Arietta and um, trying to figure out a way to win a baseball game tomorrow night.